Hello, welcome to my vloggity vlog. In less than five seconds in, it already suckity sucks. I'm actually just about to do my makeup. I usually do my makeup in the office, but today we're switching it up, and I'm just gonna stay chilling in bed. Guess what? Nobody is surprised. Like, yesterday I did a lot of organizing, cleaning. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. You have been organizing and cleaning and trying to get rid of a lot of stuff for more than eight years straight. And one of the things you were supposed to be getting rid of, at least that's what you said back then, is excess body fat. And you just added more. And even though you're going to try to clean some clutter out of your place, you're going to bring in more Legos. Like, I had this pile to go to Goodwill. And it was just, like, taking over my bedroom and it was, like, just a mess. So I put it in boxes and bags and took the pile to the living room so it's more like in my face so we can remember to take it to Goodwill. And I did all that. I spent majority of the day just doing that on and off. Not only is your clutter boring, talking about your clutter is even more boring. What's next? More stories of your aches and pains? And now my pelvis hurts, my hysterectomy, I have scar tissue, which causes, uh pelvic pain, pelvis pain, when I do lots of bending, lifting, etc, etc. So that's what I'm experiencing now, so I'm just like chilling in bed. But I am about to do my makeup, so I will see you guys when I'm done. This is before and... and after. That was a good job! You are still morbidly obese though, so maybe it's not so good after all. So I just did light makeup. Um, I don't know. I just feel better throughout the day doing my makeup, even if I don't leave the house or do anything. Not leaving the house and not doing anything is sort of like your life. And aside from that, the way that you do leave the house through electronic communication is to let everybody know that you're not leaving the house and not doing anything and just getting fatter while you order in more junk food. It just makes me feel more productive in a way. It makes you feel more productive in a way. You know what that way is? It's an imaginary way. So yeah, and I just got done having a uh, cauliflower pesto situation type deal. You just ate some cauliflower? Well, I take it all back. That fixes everything. You're successful, Amberlynn Reed. You certainly are. Yo, baby boy. No, look at him. Everyone says hi. <laughs> Did you know I was recording you? Oh, look at her all cuddled up with me. Oh, she's so sweet. I love you. <laughs> she's all cozy. It's starting to get cold here in Kentucky. It's in the 60s, y'all. We had to turn the AC off. So now it's like cuddle weather. And for Amber Lynn, it's never exercise weather. Sweater weather. So I want to show you guys my newest purchase. I got two of these glass jug containers. And I'm already using one. We have some orange juice. You're a genius. You go to the store and buy orange juice, take it home or you have it delivered, and then you pour it out of the container that you paid for to put it in this one. So throw away the other container because you're not using it even though it had a purpose, and now you've got this. The only way you can make this worse is if you were to add dairy products. In here, but I want to use this one for milk. Fantastic! It just got better. You bought two large, heavy glass containers with small openings on them, and while the orange juice, while redundant because it already comes in its own container, is bad enough, now you're going to add dairy. How are you going to get in there to wash it properly? Great purchase. Once I get some milk, I do have some milk, but it expires in two days, so I'm just going to wait until I get new milk, and it comes with like these cute little lids. So yeah, that is my newest purchase. I got these on Amazon. Hey you guys, so random fact about me. I do like a clean apartment, obviously, but there's a few things that I am a big procrastinator on, and it's this. Yep, 
This is my sink. And these are all clean clothes. <laughs> If you cannot manage your own laundry, then we have no reasonable expectation that you'll be able to manage your own health. Like, ever. Oh my god, I hate putting away clean laundry. That's like one of my least favorite chores. Besides cleaning the toilet, that's number one worst ever. So I am currently on Torrid. I'm doing some Torrid shopping. So what I do is I always go to the new and now. I probably do this once every other day. Then I just scroll and scroll. So that is your exercise, scrolling through websites, browsing stuff, and then buying loads of things you don't really need. And given your caloric intake, I do not expect that that little bit of exercise you do get by doing the scrolling is going to have any significant impact on the blubber that you carry. Usually they have a few new things. Um, most of this I have not seen. If I look interested, I'm not. Uh, oh wait, these are cute. I've never worn a onesie a day in my life. But Christmas is coming up. So, oh my God, that's so cute. I honestly love candy canes. It's one of the cutest Christmas decorations like ever. I currently have 11 things in the cart. <laughs> from the other day and then like I'll just like add stuff I'll take stuff out oh I really like this necklace I think I might add that great more clutter when you started your channel you said you were gonna do a weight loss journey and all you've done is as Charlie Gold once said gain a linebacker as far as the weight is concerned and now with this little video that you just made you said, well, I'm trying to, uh, you know, get rid of stuff and clean up, and here's more junk being sent to your residence. I don't know. Would I actually wear it? For $20? No. I might get this matching sweatshirt and pants. I don't have anything like that, and I think it would be super cozy. Okay, so I was doing more scrolling. Please, Amberlynn, take a break. You don't want to scroll too much and wear yourself out with all that exercise. And I love this necklace. I think it's so cute like it's all matte but then right here there's like two pieces that have like fake diamonds adding that so you said no to the first one and you're gonna say yes to this one congratulations you managed to do it you added more clutter so out of everything in my cart this is my most favorite thing that i have which is also the most expensive 89.50 but it's a sweater, it's cold weather coming up, black and white, Corilla DeVille, I honestly love it. You do not honestly love it. You are honestly spoiled and jaded by having an income that's entirely dependent upon you staying huge and not changing it. So I'm for sure getting this. It better be comfy cozy because for $90 it's pretty pricey, but it looks comfy, it's cute. This girl slays in it. I'm gonna get it in size five. So if I look sad, it's because I am sad. Not quite sad enough to stop yourself from making another boring vlog just to keep your back catalog alive and to make a few more thousand bucks this month. If you was really sad, then you'd just be lying around not doing anything. You wouldn't have any energy. You wouldn't have any gumption to do it. So not too sad, really. And I've done a lot of crying. Today, I've done a lot of crying in the last week, and it's like, I want to talk to you guys about it, and now I'm like smearing my makeup, whatever, I don't even care. My makeup did look good. I didn't really vlog much today. Let me just like wipe this makeup off. I'll be right back. You know what? I don't even care. This is me. I don't know you guys. I just feel like... I want to talk to you guys about what I'm going through, but it makes it more real to say out loud. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been in that sort of situation, but it's like, the more you keep it in, you keep it locked up, the less real it seems. Um, and on top of everything else, I'm pretty sure I've gained weight. Really? You gained weight? Now you're not acting anymore. You're back to keeping it real. What a surprise. Amberlynn reads, oh, I lost some weight. Oh, I put it back on again. What a surprise. I don't know. I feel it. 
in my body. I kind of feel it in the way that I breathe. I haven't weighed myself since my last weigh-in video. And, like, I'm pretty sure I've gained weight. I don't know. I'm kind of going through it right now. <laughs> I'm okay, though. Like, you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just kind of going through... Something that you're not going to tell us what it is, yet you're going to go on camera and tell us that something is happening anyway, so you kind of do the same old gaslighting thing you've been doing for years, alluding to something and not telling us what it is, and telling everybody on the internet what it might could be, and uh, just something like that. That kind of a situation type deal, like that? A situation type deal, but... I've been through a lot in my life, so I know that I can get through this, but a little weight update. I'm pretty sure I've gained weight. Oh my god, I don't want to weigh myself. I'm like too scared, but I know that I need to. Yes, we have a cat fur situation, but listen, you guys have wanted it. You guys have been wondering, where's your next Lego? Got it. It's the globe. Wifey got me this. So I'm your cat is both amused and yet quietly embarrassed for you. I'm really excited. I've actually had it for a couple weeks, but I finally feel inspired to crack her open. Huh? Is you and your brother the reason why there's cat fur everywhere? Huh? Huh? The cat is like, buzz off and talk to your people. I'm out of here, you loser. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to open her with you. Okay, she has opened. So all of the bags come with a number on them. Like this would be 10. So that's the 10th bag you do. Thanks for the advisement, Amberlynn. That's the 10th bag, so that's the 10th one that you do. Uh, we, we appreciate that. And please, don't get too technical on us or else we won't be able to follow along. 12, so on and so forth. We have a lot of bags. The kind of sad part is that you're doing the world and the world had to bleed its resources just so you could sit there in a mountain of plastic and packaging and, uh, uh, what's the point? Just go ahead and play with your toys. And it obviously comes with the instruction book manual, if you will. My absolute dream Lego set is to do the Titanic one. What is stopping our girl from having another dream come true? Well, there's just one thing. It only costs $680 American, and it's out of stock. Ah, shucks. Too bad. She's going to have to wait for a few more weeks. Absolute dream. So this is how the book looks. The instructions are super easy, manageable, and just, I don't know, very well illustrated. I love it. So what I like to do is I like to get just like a little container. I simply just put all the bags in order. So I leave out number one, because obviously that's the first. So I'll just set her there. We have 13, five. This is also part of one. So bag number one has an extra bag as part of it. So the clutter is that complicated. I don't know what to say, like, you've just brought more clutter into your residence and somehow you think you're beating the game by putting it all in a bucket. Uh, can we just fast forward through this part? Here is the beginning of step number one. I am sorry to disappoint, but I'm actually not going to be starting it right now. I just wanted to organize it, get it ready. Um, and I might actually start it tomorrow. And when I do, I will definitely vlog it and show you guys.
some takeout. Well, of course you did, Amber. Did you get a lot of rice to go with it? So I got this Mexican place. It's uh, tacos. Oh my gosh. They're just like steak tacos. Some rice. Just what you need. Carbs. And if there's one thing that's better than rice, it's more rice. Great job, Amber. That is just what you needed. Even more rice. And more rice. You're on the right track. Okay. Two things of rice. It does come with some sauce. I usually don't use that. The tacos, steak, pico de gallo, uh, some cheese, some cheese, some cheese, some cheese, lime. I don't use that. Radish. Oh my god. As for the rice, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Let's see. Hit or miss? Really miss. I think the rice is batting a thousand. It's good today. 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 So I am just putting away some clothes. I'm in the dark. Um, I do want to end this video tomorrow. I need to get back on track with my weight loss. <laughs> This ain't it. Like, I mentally, you know, just feel sad. Just going through some stuff. So I've been turning to food, and I know that I shouldn't. So tomorrow, we're gonna do a whole day one moment. Who's with me? I don't know, and I kind of have like a sore throat. I don't know if you guys can hear like the rasp in my voice. I don't know if it's from like all the crying or what. Yeah, I'm thinking in the next few vlogs, I kind of just want to sit down with you guys and just, like, talk to you. My cat is all up on my stuff on my desk. What are you doing, baby Rosie? Yeah, I think, you know, sit down, just a quick little talk, just let you know what's going on. Um, I'm just not ready to, like, talk to anybody about it, like, at all. Um, I've officially told my mom, so... Yeah. Anyways, enough of that. I'm gonna end my video. Um, I'm okay, you guys. I promise. I am strong. <laughs> and that's all that matters. And that's something I do know about myself. So anyways, I'm super tired. It's actually 6 a.m. And I haven't slept. My doctor said it's totally normal because I... <laughs> Here it is. Uh, it's totally normal that my insomnia is like way worse ever since I stopped taking estrogen, which people are so confused about that. I was told to stop taking it. Like it was never supposed to be prescribed to me. Now the update on that is I think that a resident might have been the one who prescribed me the medicine and then it kind of just like went from there and no one caught on to it, which is fine. But I will be talking to my actual oncologist about this and not just like nurse practitioners. I mean, they're great too, but it's like... My oncologist is the one who did my surgery and stuff like that, so I really want to like talk to her personally, so I do have an appointment scheduled for that. And I also have a CT scan scheduled. Um, I've had a few. I try to get them done every six months, and every single time I go, everything looks the same, so that's a really good sign. Anyways, I'm rambling in the dark. Love that. I'm going to go, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.